but they are phenomenal. They've got a really, really wide lens. They've got a, a much bigger sensor than your mobile phone. Hi, welcome to Creator Answers. In this one, I'm gonna tell you what's the best camera for YouTube. Everybody wants to know the answer to that question. Well, this is a tricky one. Here's the thing, there's no definite answer for that. And here's the reason why. Depending on the type of channel that you have, the answer will be different, even for your personal preference. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna explain to you how to choose the best camera for YouTube for you. First of all, before we get started, if you want to be kept informed of the content I put out, hit that subscribe button, hit that alarm bell, and then you'll be notified of all my new videos and news and stories and creator stuff. So let's get into it from here. Right then, choosing a camera for YouTube. This is a problem for a lot of people. And I see this question asked over and over and over, what's the best camera for YouTube? What's the best camera for creating a video blog? There's no one answer to this. Now, I'm currently using a Panasonic GH5 here and I'm using a, a GoPro Hero 6 here as my side camera for interest shots. But that's because in this setup, a nice big camera on a stand right here in the middle of a ring light, looks fantastic and that GoPro over there that looks really great for the sort of the side you know the interest shot however when I'm out and about I'll use different cameras now when you're getting started you've probably only got the budget for one camera okay and here's, the, here's where you should get started use your mobile phone your mobile phone if it's a fairly recent one can do a great job it'll do everything you need but moving beyond that you say you've outgrown your mobile phone where do you go from there the most common camera types and the types of channels Channels that they're going to be useful on. Hopefully your channel will be one of the ones that I cover and you can make a decision accordingly. So first of all, mobile phone camera. These are incredibly packed with features now. You have high frame rates, they shoot in 4K, you can see what you're shooting, you can get gimbals and things for them, it's easy to add additional sound. Editing can be a little tricky, but I'll put a link below to Dean Nimmin's channel where he covers all about how to do that sort of thing. You know what, for just a grab and go as a straight out of the gate option, you really gonna have a good time with a mobile phone so if you've got a fairly mobile phone in your hand you're probably even watching this right now on a mobile phone get started there that will suit pretty much every channel anything that can be a stand mounted camera or a hand mounted camera your mobile phone is going to help you out the way where it's not going to be that useful will be on a gaming channel but even then there is software available that'll help you stream games from your console to your, to your twitch service or your youtube service and i'll be covering that in a how to stream games video coming up later in this series. So don't abandon your mobile phone just yet, it's a good starting point. Okay, next up we have our compact cameras. So once you go beyond your mobile phone, you're going to be looking at something like this. This is um, a Sony RX100, but then there's the GX7, and there's, there's, you know, most manufacturers do these compact cameras. These are fantastic. You've got generally got a better sensor on one of these. Now they're quite expensive. Bear in mind that they, they, they stretch into the hundreds to almost, a, well, some of them are even over a thousand dollars or thousand pounds. You know, they're quite steep, but they are phenomenal. They've got a really, really wide lens. They've got a, a much bigger sensor than your mobile phone. Which, and I'll cover sensors and the technology behind this in another video, the link will be popping up there. For, for a lot of people, you add one of these and you've suddenly got a, a really professional looking setup. There are limitations, some of you can't plug a microphone in, so you have to use a separate sound recorder because the sound on these is terrible. Batteries and things you need, you know, so there are considerations for that. But you can do an awful lot with a high quality compact camera. These are particularly useful for videos like this, video blogs, where you can put it on a stand. Ones like this that have manual controls, such as aperture priority are great for makeup channels because you can open that aperture really wide and get an excellent you know that soft background these are very good at that they're good for run on the go you know they've got stabilizers in them or check for one with a stabilizer if you want to use it handheld you can run around with it you can use one of these in the car they're excellent the limitations with these typically are because they're, they're still camera first and video second you may find you've got a limit to only being able to record 10 minutes at a time and you've got to stop and start it or you've got to, it'll cut the video file up so be mindful of that they aren't primarily designed as video cameras but these can be used on a wide range of channels the exceptions I would say are action channels these aren't particularly waterproof they're not something you're gonna put in your skateboard or on your bike or on your helmet for that we come on to the next camera and that's action cameras and I'm actually filming this on a GoPro Hero 6 on a stand in the corner and this is a, a GoPro Hero 5 now the good thing with these is 
is they're waterproof. You can actually go underwater with them. The image quality is pretty damn good, to be fair. You can use them as a still camera, as a video camera. The sensor is tiny. That means that you can get very high frame rates. It's very useful. I'll be cover covering crop factors and why the sensor is important in a later video. I'll put the link up there. So these are two, these are rugged. You can drop them and give them a battering. You can get like a chest mount and a helmet mount and a handlebar mount. So these are particularly good if your primary video is out and about. You're outside, you want to be in, get it wet, you want to, you know, do sports and things with it. Curiously, a lot of mo mobile phones these days are waterproof too, so worth checking. You can do a lot with them. Especially the newer ones, they've got stabilization in them. And there's all sorts of manufacturers make decent high-end uh, action cameras. Now, as a dedicated video camera, they do miss out to cameras with bigger sensors. But as you can see, this isn't bad. It's doing an okay job. And if I was closer to this, the image quality would, would be pretty good. And they've also got lots of tricks in the software, like time-lapse and slow motion and high frame rates makes them pretty good for doing things like b-roll and you can put them in your pocket and you know the accessories are cheap so action cameras very good for out and about and just a knockabout camera okay next up would be webcams now a webcam is very different to almost every other camera in that it's tethered a webcam requires a connection to your pc usually via usb now the big advantage of a webcam is a you've possibly got one if you've got a laptop it probably already has a webcam in it and for gaming they're perfect they sit on top of your monitor, you can stream with them, and then with some software like OBS, and I'll be covering gaming software and streaming software and how to do a gaming channel in a separate video. There'll be links popping up all the way through once these videos are ready. But a webcam and a computer is the perfect setup for a gaming channel. Now, actually, they can be quite good for a makeup channel too, because you can use the big screen as your mirror for applying your makeup. Also, for a video blog channel where you want to read news, if you look at Philip DeFranco, I mean, I don't think he uses as a webcam but you could do a very similar setup to Philip DeFranco with a webcam because you can use your computer in front of you to read your notes and your story and then you narrate to your webcam. So a high quality webcam like a Logitech 920 or 922 or the new Brio which doesn't work on Apple's yet just to let you know it does work but badly I got one it's a pain in the ass long story. So a webcam can be a really good option if you are if you are primarily sitting in front of a computer for your channel you know if that's the sort of channel you do mainly for gaming channels channels but also useful for news and actually for makeup channels although they're not as pretty although the new brio is pretty good finally we're getting on to the big big camera that everyone says you have to have the dslr now there are smaller versions of this like super zooms or bridging cameras i'm not really going to cover those they aren't that popular anymore because dslrs have come right down in price but dslrs are the you know that's what all the pros use okay except they don't everyone will tell you you have to have a canon or you have to have a sony or you have to have a, a nick on and image quality as you can see looking at me on a gh5 here with some rather expensive glass they are fantastic they are absolutely amazing but there's a couple of issues with using a dslr first they're big and heavy so there are certain things that you can't do with a dslr like run and gun sports outdoor use you can kind of use but they're just too bloody big as a vlogging camera they're heavy so they're not something you're going to be able to use on a gimbal for long the battery life can be a limitation with them but most of them aren't water proof at all even the better ones are only weatherproof which means they can kind of be rained on a bit but they're by no means waterproof so a dslr is quite a specialist bit of equipment also and there's another video coming up about this on how to choose a dslr unlike a compact camera or a mobile phone or a logitech or a or a webcam which are quite a narrow it's pretty obvious which one of those you want choosing a dslr is a much tougher option where do you start different size lenses crop factors focal lengths apertures ah, there's a whole other lens language you need to learn when you're buying a DSLR which doesn't apply quite as much when it comes to the smaller cameras because they're self-contained you just buy one and off you go and shoot with it now I've got a video coming up about how to choose a DSLR if you're in the market for one but keep that in mind now DSLRs are particularly good for channels like this where it's on a tripod sitting there in the middle of a ring light I keep my lens and my setup is all programmed into memory so whatever I do with it boom it'll, all my videos look like this they're very good for beauty and get ready with me type channels because the the quality is extremely high the colors are extremely good the video output is very very high quality so for the sort of channels where you want a lot of detail like makeup channels like beauty channels and also for the you know this sort of video blogging channel then a dslr is supreme absolutely superb 
keep that in mind. So that's pretty much it. Those are the types of cameras which you can choose from. Now, which one of those, if any, you know, once you've decided on which one you want, that's a subject for a separate video. And I am going to be covering each of the subgroups of cameras as to which ones are best for you in separate videos later in this series. But for now, that's pretty much it for this one. That's all the main types of cameras. Pick from those which one you think more suits you and go decide. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe, dislike, hit that subscribe button, hit that alarm bell to be kept informed of my latest videos. And if you want to see the last video or, and if you want to see my latest video, there's a link popping up there right now. And the most relevant video is popping up here somewhere and you can click on my, my face to subscribe. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the very next video. Bye.